My name is Rebecca Lundberg. I don't know that there's necessarily any secret to success. Um, I feel like one of the things that benefited me was I was willing to take risks on relocation and willing to take opportunities that popped up that were maybe lateral moves that didn't come with a promotion. So I feel like you know taking chances and taking some of those risks and being willing to understand that it doesn't always come with a promotion but really it comes with opportunities to gain experience that you wouldn't otherwise have uh, staying in the same place, that's certainly helped me. I've had the opportunity to work on a number of really cool projects, but back when I was a general sales manager, my boss at the time, Graham Epperson, who's the division president for the Pacific Northwest, he saw that electronic signing was going to make an impact on our business. So we piloted DocuSign in Arizona in the sales organization, and it went really well. We ended up working with the IT team to combine DocuSign with our home building system, Home Selections, so that we could really make it an integrated, very efficient process for not only our customers, but also for our sales consultants. Today, uh, we as a company use DocuSign across the entire country, and we use it not only in the sales organization, but in many of the other departments as well. So it's provided huge efficiencies uh, for the company and for our customers. Back when I was a sales manager, I was responsible for a geography of communities that we had, and I had a customer come in who was a little upset about an experience he'd had in an adjacent community, and when he walked through the door, you know, he immediately assumed that my male counterpart in the space was our manager. And of course that wasn't the case. Um, I was the manager and so the sales consultant was able to kind of redirect politely and of course that individual felt a little bit embarrassed because he assumed that I was the secretary, the admin, uh, sitting there at the front. So I think that you know, I've had very limited experiences like that, thankfully. I feel like there are a number of amazing leaders in the company and uh, individuals who have helped foster my career. And so I think for me, you know, thankfully I haven't been up against too much. You know, it's funny because I haven't historically looked at myself and really parsed out the fact that I was a female in the business. Um, I recognize that that is a fact, but I think that I've had such great mentors and sponsors along the way um, that any advice I feel like is probably applicable to anybody. Um, to me, I think it's really that you have to know what you're good at, but then have the humility to understand the things that you're not good at, and then really build relationships um, cross-departmentally, cross-division, across the country, um, some of the ways I've been able to tackle issues that have popped up effectively were by leveraging the experience of people who've been in the business a lot longer than I have or who've been uh, doing the role and who've overcome the same issues that I have. And so you can leverage any of their experience to kind of shorten my learning curve. So I would encourage people to have, you know, a number of mentors that they can look up to, that they can reach out to, that can really help them be effective as they move into that new role. I think simultaneously what happens with that is that uh, hopefully you do well and you are listening to them and you are applying the things they're giving you. And if that's a fact, then they'll be able to sponsor you to take on projects, you know, like the DocuSign project that I referenced, or um, sponsor you into new roles and responsibilities and potentially promotional opportunities.